right, first and foremost, I would like to say thank you for allowing Who's Mizzou Network to capture this event. Wonderful. Um, first question. Uh, just introduce yourself and give me a brief uh, history of the Charles Sumner Museum. Okay. Um, my name is Kimberly Springle. I'm the executive director here at the Charles Sumner School Museum and Archives. And um, the Charles Sumner School actually is a historic school, one of the first public elementary schools for black children in Washington, D.C. So it dates back to 1872. But today we are kicking off our 30th anniversary commemoration. So fast forward another 100 years, the Sumner School was falling into disrepair and was scheduled to be demolished. So in 1986 there was a big renovation project that was completed that chartered this space as the official museum, archives, and repository for D.C. public schools. So this year we turn 30, actually tomorrow, officially. Okay, so what event are we at today, right now? Well today we are at the official reception and opening for the D.C. public school Pride Reflections and Memory Making Art Exhibition. And this exhibition encompasses artworks from 17 artists who are either DC Public School alumni or DC Public School or Public Charter School current students. Cool. Next question. Um, what's special? What's like? What's the special significance of this Charles Sumner School Museum? The the significance actually is is parallel and, and comes from different different decades, really. Um, the first piece is that it's one of the first public elementary schools for black children. Um, another significant fact is that it was designed by a German architect who was quite um, prolific during his time, Adolf Klus. Um, another important fact is that we are the official museum and archives for DC Public Schools and the only of its type in the nation. There is no other um, public cultural museum that captures the history of an entire school system in a major city. Not one that I found. So I think that's the, the most important evolved legacy. The history, of course, is that it is a historic school, an early brick and mortar school that was built for black children only 10 years after slavery was abolished in DC. But today, we're celebrating 30 years as actually collecting, preserving, interpreting, and all also making accessible history um, related to DC public schools. Cool. Um, for people who don't know where the Charles Sumner School Charles Sumner School Museum located, where is it located? At? We are located on the corner of 17th and M Street, so northwest. Um, an excellent landmark would be the National Geographic Museum, which is our neighbor right across the street, and um, our official address is 1201 17th Street. Northwest. Okay. Can we find the Charles Sumner Museum School on any social media outlets? Yes, we, we you can. Charles Sumner School Museum and Archives on Facebook, Twitter, and IG. You can find us on Sumner Museum. And we actually have a brand new website that's under construction, but we're live at SumnerMuseumDC.org. Okay, I would like to say thank you again for allowing Washingtonians like myself to come catch up on history because I actually found my yearbook of my whole high school in here in Washington, which closed down, That's and I right. found my yearbook. I also found pictures of my mother and my aunt uh, yearbook in here. So if you went to a D.C. public school, check out the Charles Sumner School Museum. Thank you again, Ms. Sprinkle. Thank you so much. And just tell the world one more time, what network you messing with? Who's Mizzou Network? Who's Mizzou Network? Thank you so way. much. We live on Who's Mizzou, and I got, who I got right here, man? This is Joe, a.k.a. Joe Vinci. Okay. That's what, Joe Vinci, that's, just, that's where we can find you on social media? Oh, yeah, Joe Vinci, J-O-E-L-V-I-N-C-double-I. Okay. So, you're an artist? I'm an artist, sir. Um, we at the Charles Sumner Museum right now. We got some artwork right here. We got the cotton pickers. Uh, 12 by 16 painting. All your painting. Everything I had, all your painting. And we got this one. I left this one untitled. It speaks for itself. Okay. Um, 12 by 16 as well, all your. What high school you went to, Joe? I went to Woodrow Wilson Senior High School. Okay, what class are you? 08, class of 08. Okay, shout out to the class of 08 out of Wilson High School. All my Tigers. Okay. Uh, what, ins um, what inspired you to become an artist? Uh, man, it, it, it always been in me, so. Um, since, since I was a youngin, 
like used to watch Bob Ross, yeah. you know, the Afro, and Afro Disney. And he inspired me for real. You know, you know they're seeing art everywhere. You know, I always wanted to just be creative. Can't help but be creative, especially here in DC. It was just so much, so much to feed off of. But, um, it's pretty much true. Is um is this your first time in the Charles Sumner School Museum? Ah oh, man, this is my first. Never heard of the place until like you introduced me to it. <laughs> as soon as you sent me the link, man, I was on it. But uh, man, it's like the best place, especially if you're from DC. Anybody watching from DC, definitely come here. Find some documents. Just look up anything. Yep. Cause there's a there's a lot of history in this building. Too much history. There's a lot of history in this building. So. This is your first time in it, so this is a DC Public School history building. Right. Yeah. So how do you feel that you got seven of your paintings in a DC Public School history archive museum building? You know what, honestly, I'm still trying to process it. It's a good feeling though. I mean, there's a lot of people here. I mean, I feel appreciated. And then I got like a couple stories too. Um, Thank you. Tried to exhibit some of these pieces elsewhere, yeah. and they got rejected because of the content. Like this one. Tried to exhibit it at NGA. Rejected. <laughs> also, a couple other pieces. But I mean, I'm just happy that they really accepted it and saw the value and the art in it, for real. We live on Who's Mizzou Network right now, and we got. Chigo Key. Chigo. My artwork. It is called The Black Woman. I made it this year. And it is about the struggles of a black woman in America. It has details about the things a black woman goes through. And it's the typical African American futures with the big white nails and bigger lips. And you have the ag sign and everything. Okay, Um. how old are you? I'm 16. 16. And what school do you attend? I go to Dunbar High School. Okay, shout out to Dunbar, Crystal Tide. What grade you in? I'm in the 12th grade. Good, senior. You about to graduate. You yeah. have plans on going to college? Yes. I'm art school? I'm not too sure. Okay. Art therapist. Okay. So, uh, how do you feel that you have your art here in the Charles Sumner School School Museum? I'm so happy. Like I never thought I'd get this opportunity to have my art um, exhibited here, but I'm just so glad. I'm thankful. Good. I'm happy for you myself. Um, did you know about this place, the Charles Sumner School Museum? No, I had really never heard of it. Okay. So now that you do know of it, your art in here, you can tell your friends, they could come check you out. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Joseph um, LaRoche, quick, quick history lesson. Y'all seen the movie Titanic, right? That's Joseph LaRoche. Now in that movie, did you see one black person? Nope. All you remember is Leonardo and Rose. But this guy, Joseph LaRoche, the only man of African ancestry who purchased a ticket, like with his own money. He died on the ship, and um, his wife, his pregnant wife, and his two daughters survived. But, you know, this is just my piece in, in recognition to this man. And I imagine to be like, to be able to purchase your own ticket, like, that's, that's like an accomplishment. Especially back then when you're skin black, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like that's crazy. Like, that's cool. Congratulations to my good Centralian brother Joe. He placed second place at the Charles Sumner uh, 30th Anniversary Art Exhibit. How you feel, my brother? I feel quite all right, sir. This is the piece that did it. This is the piece that did it? Untitled 3. Untitled 3? My, my three niggas. So this picture right here got my man second place. That's what's up, bro. I'm proud of you, bro. Appreciate it. So, Who's Mizzou Network, thank you. Yeah. Let them know one more time. Who's Mizzou Network. Subscribe. Charles Summer Museum. Subscribe, yeah. Thank you. Thank you.